Good morning and welcome to the Forex Market Wrap brought to you by Pepperstone. It's Tuesday the 12th of September 2017 and I'm Darren Sinden. Right, let's take a look at some overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. Two trends I want to focus on really from yesterday. First of all, the yen weakening against the dollar back to 109.44 uh, this morning. Uh, and I suspect that's uh, risk on rearing its head again after Hurricane Irma didn't devastate Florida entirely. And then the other move comes in Dollar Canada, 121.16 we were trading earlier this morning. That's a gain of around 2.42% over the course of seven days. And I think this one really is driven by interest rates. Canadian interest rates rising, US interest rates static and maybe not likely to rise this year. If we look at what that means on a longer term uh, Dollar Canada chart, uh, we can see that we're approaching some very interesting levels, uh, old support and resistances, levels that we haven't seen really uh, since uh, late 2014. And those are around uh, 120.35. Uh, so the question is, can uh, Canadian dollar continue to make gains against its US rival? Right, what's on the calendar? Events that may move the market today. Uh, it's really a calendar of two halves, if I can borrow from the footballing analogy. Uh, First of all, at 8.30 we have a raft, an absolute raft of uh, price and inflation data out of the UK retail price index, producer price index data, core consumer price index data, um, a whole host of inflation figures there. And then we move on into uh, the afternoon session for a series of US data points, Red Book Index for September, year on year and month on month data there, the Jolts job openings data for July, later at uh, 1400 GMT, and then a series of bill and bond auctions uh, throughout the afternoon, 1530, the 52 week and four week bill auctions, 1700, probably the most important point there, the 10 year note auction in the States. Okay, breaking news and comment has caught my eye this morning. Uh, well, starting in Asia, Philippines exports bounced back in July as imports fell, creating the smallest trade gap for the country in 17 months. Moving across to Singapore, retail sales in the country dipped to 1.8% year on year versus a prior read of 2% uh, in June. The UN has approved fresh sanctions on North Korea, but a stop short of uh, issuing an oil embargo. And the UK's PM, Theresa May, has won a key Brexit vote in Parliament. Right, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day. Why not think about this? There's two new reports from uh, Swiss Bank UBS and Australian House LF Economics question lending practices in the Australian mortgage market. Just how well equipped is the Australian consumer to cope with possible interest rate rises ahead? And here you can see a chart of Australian household savings, the dashed line falling away here, and Australian consumer credit, the uh, rising blue line here. The question, of course, will be what will happen to this gap as and when Australian interest rates rise. Right, thank you for your time today. Please take a moment to read the risk warning. Trading in CFDs and FX can be a risky business as they're traded on margin. If you have any doubts about those risks, please contact your Pepperstone account representative.